They'll be calling you a radical. Kevin Blanche, back to Fukushima. I want to talk about this Peace Vice has done, went over there. First off, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 39 months later, better late than never. Hmm. Tell that to all the people that are dead. I want to talk about, set some details and talk about the foundation of their report. By the way, to Vice, he did that great work. It's great, by the way. As you know, I've been reporting this since the day it happened, which a lot of it I've reported right under your nose. You're in Brooklyn, so am I. I've, a lot of these reports are in Brooklyn, sitting right there in front of the green grave, talking to multiple people, my beautiful, incredible, hardworking designer daughter and all her beautiful, incredible friends, right there, right there. So it isn't like I haven't been right under your nose the whole time. This whole piece into these people that are starting to write books and regurgitate. <laughs> what a joke. I read the one. What's his name? It's pathetic. By the way, I'll tell you why you will never sell any fucking books on Fukushima. You can publish all the while. Because the books are already been written in real time as it happened. Why are they going to read your pathetic book when it's reading? They're a joke, by the way. You haven't got a clue, rhyme, or reason when they can go back and watch my videos, Jan's videos, Christine's videos, Nimber Magic's videos, Missy Sky. My book, this has been a book, Thomas Ackerman's video from the day one with one video, one video of mine. In retro will give you 10 times you can read that whole book this is literature in real time everybody knows they knows they laugh at you you know they're laughing because you don't know you don't have a clue not a clue not a rhyme not a reason I will first of all say thank you to Christina she was here we spent two days together it invigorated me so much to be able to have a discussion with somebody who's had this fight and this struggle in intimate detail somebody with a big brain who has been fighting this and going through this we were able to synergize and talk and spend, I mean, I, I know that we got a lot from each other. We learned a lot from each other. As I would like to say, Vice, I really love it. I want to set a few things straight on their piece so people understand, people know. Number one, the tank situation is a dog and pony show. Factual, we all know. There were hearings over there a year and a half ago, two years ago, as I listened to, they admitted they've been pointing into the Pacific Ocean since. 4-3-11. I reported it on 4-3-11. They're dumping plutonium in a very radical, acute way. And I look back on it as Christine and I talked about this so much, we did it exactly right. You know, Jan Brooks, we, I mean, intense, radical, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we did it exactly the way, you know, it had to be done that way. They've been dumping in the Pacific the whole time. The dog and pony show on the tanks. Secondly, I want people to understand when he goes into his mantra about we don't know the effect. Bullshit. Bullshit. You know, you need me to sit down with you and lay it out and show it to you? 40,000 United States Marines. My father, one of them. 60,000 Army personnel. Human guinea pig at the blast in the I have all the data. They all died of cancer. My father did the most incredible. This is a man who never had a cabin in his life. Never been to a hospital in his life. I don't ever recall him. My, his grandma says, I don't even remember him having a cold in his life. ML leukemia dead. Leonard Bird, who, I mean, all of them, all of them. Chernobyl. Just because you don't see it, the data's there. I have all the data. You need it? I'll spoon feed it to you. Nothing. Ken Buesler, as I tried to email him, he wouldn't take my questions. The KOAK study in the early days proves they were dumping in early. Now remember this, and I want to help Vice is watching. I'll email you the studies. It was leaked to me first, and then it got out there. The international team, the Coke study, with multiple, multiple, including that rat can, multiple freaking universities participated in it. June 2011, at the sampling site, 25 miles off the coast of Fukushima, 300, mi 300 meters in the column. Three were taken. One, three times the background levels. That's enough to scare the bejesus out of you. Two, 50 times. The third sample, 1,000 times. Their conclusion, in their abstract, the conclusion. We conclude that it is already into the current. June 2011. We know there's been thousands and thousands of times from that dumped in. We know the effect. And you don't think I know? I started telling this from day one. Now we know factually, via the mapping from France, via the mapping from Germany, via the mapping from Noah, as we as reported this, 
I, I was working right up here, right up here, right up in the top of these hills right here on a house. Here's the iron egg. Christine, I had to drop her off, and I'm like, oh my God, you're staying in the house right next door to the house I was working on when I got sick. I mean, the iron knees are on, I mean, that's where I was working. We know, right here where I'm standing, 4,800 feet above elevation. That's the Olympic downhill. That's 10,000. I was right here. We know that we got hammered. Know this. A big group right here that I know. Some of them I grew up with. One of my lifelong best friends, Paul, Carla, all of us. So many of us right here. We all got sick the same time. September, October, November of 2011. Gail got sick. He got sick the same day. We lived less than a mile away from each other by the lake. Out of that big group, acute group, we got acute AML leukemia. I went from 170 to 130 in three with massive cure. There's a big group of us all got sick. I'm the only one alive. We know in factual detail, know this, know this, and never forget, and I've said this over and over, you are safer in Tokyo than you are in New York City, Denver, Colorado, Miami, Florida, San Francisco, California, Seattle, Washington, Missoula, Montana, Austin, Texas, Glasgow, Scotland, London, England. Why? Hello, it's where the wind blows, it's where the water flows. The first six day, the wind was blowing briskly out when this thing happened. Richard Miller, his work right here. There's another one. You need to look it up. Carol Gallagher's around. Look her up on Facebook. Ask her. She wrote American Ground Zero. She was so accurate on the money. Look up Richard Miller under the cloud, that map. I mean, that's heavy, heavy scientific work. I knew Richard Miller personally out of the open air test in Nevada as a Utah down Winders. My doctor who saved my life. Go talk to him. He's an old man. The greatest oncologist probably in this country, Vincent Hansen. His brother and his father both, he lived in central Utah. Both had a thyroid cancer, boom, after the blast. If it wasn't for him, I would not be alive. One his path, not for my path, I would, he saved my life, literally. Literally, overrode all these doctors. We know, they're doc his words alone. We know it's stronger, we know it's more acute, we know it's more tense, we know it's more death. Post Fukushima, here in North America, we have the data. To think that radiation, oh, you're going to get as much flying in an airplane, holy, that's such ignorant. Number one, the readings in an airplane are so dramatically different. I can really dive into this. High reading there versus high reading on the ground are night and day. Night and day. I mean, it's basically third grade science, which everybody, Radnet had a dish right here. Right here. Gone. You know I'm in the energy solutions dump site. Christina can verify. I showed her places that nobody knows. I've been in this fight my entire life since day one, as I live to tell. They've been dumping in the Pacific Ocean, and let's talk about the cover-up. Who orchestrated the cover-up? Japan is us. The Obama administration propped up by Axel Rod and the, you know, the, the nuclear. Hillary ran ads against Barack Obama in the freaking swing state saying he's all pro-nuclear. Gina McCarthy, Radnet did not work magically. She's head of the EPA now. It's here. China knows, Russia knows, everyone knows. Christina's great line, the only thing being cover, cover, uh, controlled at Fukushima is us in North America. So when you do these, it's great. I love your work, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was great. It's great. But, factually, it's been a bit pouring into the Pacific Ocean. I did the math a long time ago. They would have to have over a thousand tanks. There is no answer for the waste. There never will be an answer for the waste. And know this, there's 104 of them here. I've been using the number 252 for decades, and everybody jumps down my throat. Well, I show Christine of them, six of them, right here in Utah. Yucca Mountain, built, never use it. I used to argue with Allison McFarland. I agree with her, shoot it into space. There's no good, and you say, oh, horrible. Yeah, you got that right, horrible answer. TEPCO's own words from day one. We're relying on yet developed technology. But remember this, Westinghouse was bought by Toshiba. I took her out there, too, and showed her that. Still Westinghouse, Moxie secret Moxie fuel plant. I've been chased out of it since I was a boy. I've been eating, sleeping, drinking this my whole life. And your books, no one's going to read your books because they will go right to these YouTube videos. 
say, oh, I got more in one video from Christina, from Jan Brooks, from Kevin Blanche, from Nimber Magic, from Missing Sky, from all these people in one video than I got reading that whole ridiculous book because you didn't eat, sleep, drink it. In the old days, it used to be go on location to write a book. Steinbeck, these people used to spend days, you know, you want to talk writers? Fama K. Brody here. Freaka Bernard DeVoto here. I can go on and on and on and on. These are my mentors. You don't think I understand literature in real time. New this is literature. You get more out of one of my early videos intensely freaking than these people because these people have no clue. They never did any research. They never ate, slept, drank it. We did. I'll write a paper book one day when I get a publicist because... And one last thing. All you people that were going to say to go in the hedge fund and you followed along, I told you to short gold at $1,900, get out, buy Tesla at $15. I showed you triple ledge on silver to get out for. And that's the difference here. That's what all you radicals can't understand about. Oh, gold's going to the, all this hyper. The meteor's going to hit the earth. This, that, the other thing. Even your black and yellow journalistic whore bullshit. Here's the thing you can't take back. YouTube's a new genre. It's branded in history. It's not a quirky genre. It's the most serious genre. It saved my life. I found a YouTube video with 14 views about the carcinoid slice when they gave me two months to live and I said, this pathologist, asshole right up here, has it wrong. And if I wouldn't have seen that video, I don't think my light would have been as intense as fighting back. This is a powerful, and you can't take it back. This is gilded and gold, branded in history, all of it, and it's backed up all over the place. People, you think you're going to get rid of them? Someone has them. This is historical factual detail. I told you that Apple was going to split, and I hate them rotten to the core of corporate scum because we have no tariffs, we have no antitrust laws, we have no, this Vietnamese guy just got sent to 30 years for committing financial crime. Here they name a university endowment after them. They will make a statue if you rob, here. It's sickening, corrupt Utah, uh, it's so corrupt over the top. Nobody would go in. Thomas Ackerman put some chump change in, trade, I told him what to buy in another guy. Ask them. Five weeks. Five weeks. I think he put a lousy couple thousand in. I think it's worth eight thousand today. You know, can't you say you believe in me? That's okay. I guess I, I don't understand it. I really, I was trying to go back in the hedge fund industry, you know, I thought, well, I'll prove my credibility on food, which I did. I proved my credibility on the financial markets. Wow, I look back on it, oh my God, if I'd have still been on Wall Street, whew, but I don't care about money. Me and Christina talked, we both did this broke, because when you get leukemia, all your money can't another minute buy. I forked over all my money, and it doesn't matter. One of my daughters was Steve Jobs, and I think it's the irony of the Apple story. And I've looked through all my videos. I've been on Apple since $45. There's videos to prove it, all this videos to prove it. So they've been dumping it into the Pacific the entire time. That's fact. It kills you and causes cancer, and it's safer. We got hammered in North America. It's not going away. It's going to grow and grow. And the ice wall is beyond a dog and pony show. It is a joke. It is a joke. It ain't going to happen. It's just like, oh, we're going to remove the spool out of Smith Four and save the world. That propaganda machine. I mean, it's been one bullshit propaganda. And do not kid yourself. Being run by TEPCO, TEPCO is the Lee Harvey Oswell beyond Lee Harvey. Patsy's on Balco, the United States Dartman of Energy. The United, I pledge allegiance to the United States of General Electric, the United States of Nuclearism, the United States of I want to give you cancer. Cal Berkeley, eugenics you. Do not kid yourself. Try me. Try me. Sit down and have an interview with me one time. Christine's like, oh my God. I get a pee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, try me. Try me on all this. Sit down and talk to me about this whole dynamic. And Fukushima? <laughs> I told Christina Jan, nobody gave us the intimate detail. Don't have to. We gave it away for free and it's right there. You want a book? Watch up. Intense language? Oh, fuck yes. Had to be that way. Stay on tuning. Thanks, Vice. It was great.